This is part two of the Marchman Act. And if you notice, it says Petition for Involuntary Substance Abuse Treatment. This is the big heavy duty one, even though it is less pages. So let's talk about it. And this is what you're going to file when you want your loved one, the respondent, to be court ordered into treatment. Keep in mind, they're gonna know that you've filed all of this stuff, so they may be pretty angry at you. INRI, just like the last one, stands for in regards to, respondent's name, that's gonna be your loved one. It's going to be John Allen Doe. Age, age 40. I, we, that's gonna be you. In this case, I'm using the name Jane Doe. What my relationship is to him, I'm the sister. Again, there's room for more respondents, or sorry, more petitioners. If you've got someone who is helping you file this, you can put their name there. That way they can access information as to where the case is going. But typically the courts like to speak to one person. So I, Jane Doe, sister, request this court enter an order granting this petition for involuntary substance abuse treatment being filed on respondent's name, that's going to be your loved one, John Allen Doe, based on the following facts. One, the respondent meets the requirements of involuntary treatment pursuant to section 397.63 Florida statute in that the respondent meets criteria for involuntary admission and is a check only one regarding the respondent, has been assessed by a qualified professional within the last 30, well, within the last 10 days. That's your court assessment report or has been the subject of an emergency admission in the past 10 days. That would be a Baker Act or a Marchman Act that's done by a mental health or substance abuse professional or law enforcement, or has been placed under protective custody in the past 10 days. Typically, your answer is always going to be this one up here. Question number three. The respondent has lost the power of self-control with respect to substance abuse because, and here's where you're going to kind of summarize everything. I'm going to go back to my original document and kind of pull some of the same information. He drinks at least a liter of alcohol daily. He uses meth daily and he's left multiple treatments. 